Hey guys, Dave Merritt, Youth and Family Ministries Director here at Trinity Lutheran with this week's announcements. First, happy March Madness. Yes, basketball happening a lot this weekend. Make sure you fill out your brackets and yeah, Terps. Let's go Maryland, Terps. First off, our Kid Zone update. Please join us this Sunday, March 19th, as the Bartow family, Addie Bennett and Alyssa Reed, discuss how Jesus knows all about us. Whoosh. Kid Zone is in between both services at 10.05 in the egg room, and Kid Zone Light is during the sermon portion of the 11 a.m. contemporary worship service. We hope to see you guys there. An announcement for our spring first communion class. We have a lot of students signed up. In fact, I call them right now the Elite Eight, but there's also room for more to sign up. That's for students in second grade and older. The class is on Sunday, March 26th from 12.15 to around 1.30 p.m. And then you can choose when you want to have your first communion. And first communion will take place on Palm Sunday, April 2nd. And you choose either the 9 a.m. or the 11 a.m. service, uh, whatever, whichever one you'd like to receive the first communion at. To register, please fill out the uh, registration form found at the Children's Ministry table in the Narthex or email me, Dave Merritt, dmerritt at trindyjapa.org. Our youth update, this is for Wednesday, March 22nd, which will be next Wednesday. Um, just a reminder, we'll have the well meal from 5.30 to 6.30, and then we will worship together with the congregation from 6.30 to roughly 7.15, 7.30, again, in our sanctuary. And then we will go back to the gym, both Crossfire and J Crew, for a brief recap and some games from about 7.30 to about 8 o'clock. And last but certainly not least, our mission trip update. Again, we have, right now are sending eight students and four adults to Hazlitt, New Jersey, but there's also room for more. We sent out our halfway home deposit last week, but again, it is not too late to register. If you're interested, please contact me, Dave Merritt, dmerritt at trinityjapa.org. Again, if you are a, a graduating eighth grader, uh, all the way up to graduating senior in high school. Again, the mission trip is July 9th through July 15th. We'll be going to Hazlitt, New Jersey. We got through another week. It's going to be a great week. A lot of basketball. World Baseball Classic also for you baseball fans. Again, an awesome time. And since we're in the state of Maryland, we hope that it warms up very soon. Again, I'm Dave Merritt. Have a great week. Hey, it's Lori Hinman. I just have a couple of announcements for you today. Uh, the, for our Wednesday well program, uh, yesterday we had regular well activities. So that means that next week, March 22nd, uh, will be worship with a meal beforehand. Um, Rich in the Kitchen is being really nice to me and he's making corned beef and cabbage and potatoes and things like that. So it'll be a fun celebration of St. Patrick's Day just a couple days late. Um, and then <clears throat> just a reminder, on weeks that we have worship, um, children uh, can't be dropped off and left unsupervised. So um, there is no Sunday school. There's no um, kingdom kids. And there's no youth group. So any of those age uh, children need to be supervised by a parent during the meal and then also at worship. So just a reminder for that. Uh, then Women's Ministry have four different uh, events coming up. Craft Night, March 24th, 630, $11 a person. Secret Sister Reveal, that is March 25th, 10 a.m. That's a free event. Then we have our basket bingo. That is April 22nd at 4 o'clock. That's $20. And the spring tea, May 13th at 12 noon. That's $35 a person. Any of those women's ministry events, you can find out more information by contacting Mickey Barkaloo at her email, which is easy. It's mickeybarkaloo at gmail.com. And that's all I have for you today. Have a great one. Hello, I'm Ken Coughlin. Uh, one of the hats that I wear around here is I am the staff member liaison for the evangelism team, which falls under outreach. And it's in that capacity that I uh, work alongside my wife, Mary Kay, to put out the food truck and send the food truck out every month. Um, we just, as sort of a lot of you know, and has been announced in the past, we were going to be taking the food truck out this coming weekend. Unfortunately, due to some 
personal family matters and family emergencies that have come up, uh, Mary Kay and I are not available this weekend, kind of at the last minute. Um, and we did try to see if we could work some things out to still make it work. Um, and unfortunately, there's just an awful lot that goes into it at the last minute. We weren't able to, to get that all filled in. So uh, we, we regret to say that we unfortunately will not be able to take the food truck out this coming weekend. Uh, we do still plan to do it next month. Next month, uh, right now, we're looking at April 22nd and 23rd which is actually the fourth weekend of the month, not as opposed to the, the usually we take it out on the third, but this will actually be the fourth weekend of the month. Um, and we'll be getting a sign up genius out for that as soon as possible to let people know. I do wanna thank everyone who has helped us out in the past and was signed out to help us uh, this, this coming weekend. We will try to make sure that we get specific notifications uh, out to those of you that had already signed up, but we didn't want anybody else running to the sign up genius at this point. So thank you all very much. Thank you for all the support you give in this ministry. And we know that you're gonna hopefully continue to support it in the future because we're st certainly gonna keep it, keep it going. All right, God bless. Hi, I'm Mary Kay Coughlin. I'm your food ministry director here at Trinity Lutheran Church. And this is my robot friend. He's my astromech droid. Actually, he's my husband's astromech droid. I don't want to get in trouble for claiming him when he's not mine. Um, so I have some announcements for you today. Our food closet challenge, I know it keeps changing a little bit, but one of the constants is diapers. Um, we have a lot of families that have little ones. Met a woman the other day. She's starting to come back to the food closet. She's pregnant with twins. They're not due. She's not due for a while, but um, it happens. People have babies and diapers are kind of on the expensive side. So to help them out, if you can, what we're looking for mostly is twos, threes, fives, sixes, and like the pull-ups that they use after they turn like, I don't know, like 18 months or so, they start maybe wearing uh, pull-ups because they're starting to want to be big girls and big boys. As far as food is concerned, if you're one of the people who prefer to bring food, we've got a lot of canned food, so that's great. Um, but what I'm wondering if you guys can bring is a lot of those boxed rices and boxed pasta and boxed potatoes. So gratin potatoes, um, scalloped potatoes, instant mashed potatoes, like uh, Zatarain's or um, Uncle Ben's or, you know, the flavored rice is something a little bit different because we have a lot of like the plain rice. And then like boxed pastas, uh, got a lot of spaghetti and elbows. So, you know, maybe some of the other stuff, the other shapes that make kids happy. Not mac and cheese. I'm good on mac and cheese, but other box pastas. So last week I asked, so I'm going to ask again, if anybody in, if you're a part of a group or a ministry here at uh, Trinity, um, small group, or just a group of families who like to get together and do service, and you're getting ready to do something in, uh, particularly in April, let's, say, let's just say if you're getting ready to be a part of something in April, if you'd let us know, either myself my husband, Ken Coughlin, or Pastor Jay, let us know. We're getting ready to start trying to keep track of, of what some of our groups are doing as outreach and service projects so that we can give other people ideas on some things they can do. Of course, if your group is interested in letting other people join you, then we can also help um, advertise that, get that word out and uh, direct them to you so you can and help them. So if you're going to like Harford Family House and you guys are gonna get together and help them get one of their new apartments or their apartments ready for a new family, I should say, you know, something like that, let us know. We'd love to hear about it, all right? And uh, that's all I got for you this week. I'll talk to you next week or on Sunday if I see you. Have a great day.